another YouTube video. This week we are in southern France. This place is the most gorgeous place I have probably ever been to. follow me on Instagram you probably know that country style homes are definitely my preference of interior design and I would say my house in Connecticut is very New England salt box sort of New England cottage this is truly French country and yeah I'm actually going to leave the link to this Airbnb in the bio of the description. I wouldn't normally do that just for privacy reasons, but we would probably only come here for this week out of the year. And I don't know if we're gonna be coming back here to this tournament next year because this tournament is a little bit different and it's not on Tommy's normal schedule, but I am honestly so glad that it worked out this way because this tournament has broke up the fact that I'm gonna be in major cities in Europe for like three and a half weeks. So I love that everything happens for a reason. This is so, nice and relaxing and beautiful anyways guys i'm about to do the most french thing possible and it's not really by choice <laughs> although it is fun activity i would probably rather drive but i tried calling an uber to the supermarket which is about 0.3 miles away from our airbnb and no one picked up my uber i think it's still calling it's been calling for like 15 minutes so i'm gonna bike the funniest part about this excursion right now is the fact that I actually used to mountain bike. So random, but not that random if you uh, if you grew up in and around mountains. It's a common activity. So I used to mountain bike and road bike as kind of cross training for skiing because that's kind of what everyone does in like the skiing community because in the off season of skiing, there are a lot of mountain bike trails. So in the shed here, there was a mountain bike and then there was this bike that I'm on right now, but this has a basket on it. So made the executive decision to go with the basket. I'm gonna head there now. This tripod on the bike situation is sketching me out a little bit, but I'm gonna head to the market. And also, I had a really hard workout yesterday. My legs are so sore. Head northeast, then sharp left. The fact that I'm gonna have to come back up this hill is so fucking sickening. Oh. Okay, guys, they just finished up at the market. They didn't have a whole chicken. To go to the butchery, I have this whole really heavy thing of groceries. I got as much as I could or I thought that would fit in my basket. I also got a ton of strawberries. Let's just not talk about the bike ride that I just had back up to the house. That was fucking crazy. Called Tommy and I told him what happened and he was like, no you didn't. <laughs> yep. Yeah. But guys, how amazing does this look? Besides the fact that the butcher shop didn't have any more chicken, whole chickens. I think people usually buy them earlier in the day. Need to figure out what I'm gonna make for dinner now, but very happy with this grocery haul. I love this brand of yogurt in the States and apparently it's even better in France. And obviously got some French butter. Excited though to get some local butter when I head to the farmer's market. Yep, and got some fresh eggs too.
getting some tomatoes. We're gonna make bruschetta. I just finished making the roasted chicken that goes in the oven for about an hour and a half and then we're gonna make a truffle risotto so we got this truffle risotto from the market and we didn't know what like it said the recipe so on Google translate the app I didn't know this you can just take a picture of it like that and then it literally translates the whole recipe for you yep wow that's so cool I was just in my meeting and Tommy was like, there's a huge frog. I didn't realize it was going to be this big. <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> it's a wide load. Oh, it's, Come on. it's really cute. Oh my God. It's so cute. That is so big. <laughs> Good morning guys. Today Tommy is playing in his first match. So I just got dressed. Amanda and I are going to hopefully go get a croissant and then head to his match. My whole outfit is actually from Revolve. I'll show you guys in a second and then I'll link everything below. Wait, that's really, really cute. You look so good. We've just been hanging out and cooking a lot. It's been really relaxing and nice being here, but excited to watch him play. Just gonna wear these glasses that I've been wearing a lot recently. They're just very easy, but yeah, let's go. Okay guys, we're going to get a croissant. Or sorry, I got ripped yesterday. It's a pan au chocolat. Wait, did you say croissant or did you say pan au chocolat? I said yesterday, I was like, oh, this is the best chocolate croissant I've ever had. Oh my God. But not like not to you, but like these people. Yeah, no, I was, I was getting, some people were being nice and being like, oh babes, like, no, it's not how you say it. I don't really know what the difference is. It literally tasted like a chocolate croissant. So um, everything here runs out midday. I went to go get a chicken later in the day and it was sold out, which is good. I feel like they don't waste as much food here, but you have to go to the bakery early in the morning. Oh my God, sheep. Aw. Um, you have to go to the bakeries early in the morning here, but I'm hoping that there will be some left. Also guys, this morning, these hikers just walked into our Airbnb. Did you hear me? I did. No, 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 no. <laughs> I literally was. She walked in with like her hiking stick and she was like. What did they, they probably thought maybe it was a bathroom? And no, I think they thought it was like a museum or something. I thought it was Amanda and I was like, good morning. Mm -hmm. Hello. Realized it was this old woman and I was like, no, 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 no. Like I didn't know what to say. The only words that could come out of my mouth were no, 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 no. Do you think these are better or the other ones are better? These are pretty good. They are really good. They're different. Mm -hmm. We went to a different place yesterday that was close. I got you water. Thank you. Yeah. Tommy won. 
Now we're just gonna head back to the house. Probably go to the market and get stuff for dinner. <laughs> okay, we stopped at the grocery store on the way home from the tournament. Do a little haul for you guys. Got some peas that I'm going to peel and get the peas out of. Probably gonna put that in the salad. Then I got these tomatoes. They've been so, so good. Got this bacon, some strawberries, avocado, shallot, onion, lettuce, a big filet, some lemonade, some uh, beef broth stuff because I'm gonna make a red wine sauce for the filet. So tonight we're gonna do like a big salad with filet, with sauce, and yeah, gonna go change out of this outfit and then start cooking dinner. guys i'm just in my pjs going to go run and get a coffee and a croissant in town and then i'm going to come back and get ready for tommy's match today oh we're matching Aww. okay i'm just finishing up getting ready for tommy's match he is in the semi-finals today of this tournament and then the finals are tomorrow so right after the final we're going to be flying to Rome. I've been like not spending that much time on my phone, honestly, on my computer, which has been nice. But I thought I would sit down and finish up my makeup with you guys and, and chat a little bit. Spending less time on my phone and on social media has been a really nice change. Something that I've been really working on, I would say in the past two years, is really just try to be much more intentional with everything that i do so by that i mean who am i hanging out with what am i eating and just being like intentional like not hanging out with people that don't make me feel good also not overly consuming videos and social media content that, that i don't need to be looking at that's not benefiting my life in any way i'm also just not aimlessly scrolling on my phone anymore i just feel like it's very important to be very intentional with everything in your life that does take being self-disciplined though and consciously every day reminding yourself to be present don't live online and just to like stay in your own lane and really just focus on yourself in your own life i really only follow people and consume content of people that really make me feel good and inspire me and yeah i've just done like a big cleanse i feel like the past year and i feel like i've grown up a lot i feel like it's taken self-discipline and it's not always been easy but it's definitely been worth it i also feel like i've done a really good job recently like not reacting to people and things and that's definitely something that's harder for me because i don't know i am a very empathetic person and i care a lot um realized that a lot of times these people are just looking for a reaction um not an explanation and i'm being very vague like refers to a lot of different things but yeah i think i, I really just had to have a conversation with myself like a year ago and i basically just had to be like if this is going to be your job and this is what you love to do then you have to be smarter about who you are around what type of social media you're consuming and then how you're interacting with people on social media and, and what you're letting into your life and in terms of me responding to things online and people and trolls and people being weird on social media um saying and doing things that are just like weird um i realize that the second that i respond or say something about it that means it's like actually something that's in my life. Like learning to just not give a fuck, just like protect my peace, has made the biggest difference in my mental health and with social media. I think that's easier for me to do now in my life because I'm not like chronically living online. My life and my happiness is not dependent on my social media. It's not dependent on my vlogs. This is something that I really love to do and it's my job, but I have so many other amazing, very like rich, parts of my life. I have very amazing friends. I have a very amazing family and support system and boyfriend and life. So I'm really just like living 
in my real life. Everything that's said online and done online, a lot of the times is just like this make-believe thing. Like what all that matters is that my real life is really good. But yeah, that's this just all has to do with like me being more mindful and intentional and I'm just trying to be more present. Anyways, I'm gonna finish getting dressed. I'm just wearing this black bodysuit. I think I'm gonna wear a little denim skirt and then black shoes. And then maybe one of those like shoulder sweater things, although it might feel a little bit hot for that. Okay guys, I am all ready to go to the mat. I'm just wearing this black bodysuit, this denim skirt, black slides, and then this um, little button up just in case it gets cold. And then these Lisbeck glasses that I wear almost every day. Tommy just won his match, so now he's in the finals. And yeah, right after the finals tomorrow, we're actually gonna be heading to the airport to go to Rome. And Amanda's coming with us. Woo! Now we're just gonna do the usual, go to the market, get stuff for dinner. <laughs> Yay! Just so beautiful here gonna miss it but I have to say I am really excited to go to Rome I went to Italy with my family for three and a half weeks like two years ago three years ago I don't know that's crazy but Rome was actually my favorite out of everywhere that we went so I'm really excited I rented a moped or like a Vespa with my brother and we just like ripped around the whole city and I really want to do that um really excited for Rome and pasta, although I'm really gonna miss cooking because I've been cooking so much here. I feel like this vlog is like literally a cooking show. I, I like feel like I only vlog cooking, but yeah, excited to eat pasta. Okay, we decided to come get crepes and this is, oh, it looks cute. It looks really cute. Good morning, guys. I just finished getting ready for the match. I'm wearing this little set that I got last year at the Paris Rolex Masters. I'm really glad that I am wearing it again because I really like this. But today Tommy is in the finals. I'm gonna go head to the match now. Mm 